I wish that teachers realized that we are real people and that we have responsibilities just as well as they have responsibilities. And they need to give us some slack because we are going through a lot as young people. Students at school get upset over small, small stuff. Fights and stuff break out over he said, she said stuff. Or the teacher said, sit down or be quiet. Why are you standing up in the first place? Why are you getting mad in the first place when the teacher is just trying to help you get your education? My teachers tried to find every reason to get me out the class. Like, I, like they didn't want me there. Like it was better when I, when I wasn't there. On the first day of school, you see the security and they treat you like you're in jail or whatever. You got to go through all this searching and scanning. Kids have to take ownership. This is their building, this is their school, and they need to make sure that everybody knows it. I tell my students all the time that school is only what you make it. It's kind of hard to be in a public school system because, because, like, it's teachers that don't care and also it's so many distractions. <laughs> Fundamentally, I think our schools are failing our children, um, and so the dropout rates, what they are, uh, I think we really need to get involved in education, everyone. You can blame teachers, you can blame the administration, you can blame parents, you can blame students, but the responsibility really falls a little bit on every person. The class. The class. If the students and the teachers don't get along, you got a bad school because students are going to be dropping out, they're not getting along with their teachers. And if the students don't get along with the students, you got a lot of violence, you ain't got no peace in your school. The stigma that we put on, uh, on young people who don't finish school, because I think in a lot of cases, it's not that they drop out, it's that they opt out. Um, I think that schools don't meet certain needs that they have and so they need to get those needs met elsewhere. Some students drop out because of the games. They scared to go to school because they gain. Go find out they go to get jumped. Then you gotta rep your set all the time. If you don't, you're gonna get beat up. If there's violence at home, that's the only thing they know. See, they just don't learn at school. They learn at home also. And if they learn violence at home, when they get to school, they will tend to take the violence with them. When I think you got to feel safe inside a school to learn. And if you're always looking over your shoulder, if you're always wondering what's going to happen to you next, I just don't think that's a good condition for learning. You can go to a school, most people that's in gangs, and like you turn around, like the next day they could, like that day they can get, they can get killed or something over that, over a gang, or like, and you go to school, the next day you hear, uh, he gone, he dead, whatever, and then they like, for real, he was just here yesterday. We work with what we got, but as far as the students and the teachers, I wouldn't agree how the teachers teach and how the students act towards the teachers and act towards the school. So they just gonna say, well, I'm gonna get paid anyway. What's the point of me even teaching you if you're not gonna wanna learn nothing? no teachers that you know really make me want to say okay I got to go to school because we're gonna talk about this or whatever because the classes is really boring so my friends draw me to school like if I didn't have friends at my school I don't know where I'd be a large part of making change is is willing to get involved and to care and admitting that you care about something and so you can't just say well this is boring therefore I'm not gonna do it Students need to say, okay, well, maybe this is not the most interesting thing in the world, but I'm going to do it, and then ask, can I also do this, because it's what I'm interested in. I'm always asking the question, why is it so difficult 
to engage young folks? Why do we find why do we find young folks the stuff that young folks do as problematic? You know, instead of looking at it, okay, we can build from this, we can take from this. The, I think the worst decision that we make in terms of teaching is thinking that it's just one size is gonna fit all. Say for instance, a student want to change, you know, how they, they want, still want to learn the same thing, but want to change how the teacher is teaching it to them. And the teacher be like, no, we're going to do it my way or no way. Students blame all their educational problems on the teachers. Like, they'll say the teachers don't care or the teachers ain't teaching them what they need to be taught. I mean, like for instance, kids get upset over a teacher telling them to be quiet or pay attention. How can you get upset and still say she don't care when she's trying to get you to pay attention to the lesson? Students got to feel the teachers really believe they can do it. I mean, really believe it, not say it, but really believe it and uh, show it and then never let go. Because I think, I think students want to have fun learning. They want to be successful learning and uh, they want this learning to make their life better. Students should be heard, so whatever they need to do, they should really listen to the students or whatever to get a better understanding of the way we should be taught. I think that our male students are, you know, particularly in danger because they feel like it's not cool to be smart. It's not cool to be um, on good terms with your teachers, and so we're losing a lot of them because of what they feel their role should be as a male. Even though he was defending himself, suspend him for 10 days too. Uh, he was there watching, so suspend him for 10 days too. Disruptive behavior from girls is usually more accepted than disruptive behavior from boys. So I do think that boys get treated differently. Um, I do think that African American boys are overrepresented in, you know, programs like special ed. I think they're overrepresented in the discipline infractions in most schools. When my son was in the public school, he was considered to have a learning disability because um, the bullies, you know, the activity that was going on in the school. And so they, he was told, I was told that he had a learning disability. Now that he's in, a, in the suburbs into school, he made the honor roll. Instead of just pushing them off and just saying, okay, you this, you that, I called your mother yesterday, you was in trouble. Like if you just really just take time out to just get to know a person, I think that'll change a kid's life past education wise, just like personally, like you'll be friends with that person, ain't no telling what'll happen, you know? I have a problem with the teachers not paying the kids any attention in the classrooms. If a student need help, the teacher should be able to come over there and help them and everything. But the thing is about the amendment, some teachers don't even care at all. I think that a lot of students for a long time uh, have been told that they are not smart and I feel that they really don't believe in their ability to do as well as they can do. You have to have uh, teachers who really in their heart of hearts believe that the kids in front of them can do this. And you have to have teachers that are willing to do whatever it takes to get students there. I just want students to know that they are the most important part of what is happening in their school that their ideas, so, they so greatly influence their teachers and that their attitudes do as well. And what can they do? I think the most important thing they can do is to accept that they are a huge factor in their own learning. There's this perception that teachers don't understand students and what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that in some, in, in some regards it is true, but I think teachers are willing to engage students if students will open up to teachers. All the students get together, have a committee to voice their opinions about the school, stand up, go to meetings about their school to help everything to better their school. You can make your own solutions. Don't let the teachers make every solution for you or the administrators. Make your voice be heard.